In the Riding a Bike Energy Transfer video, you got a chance to see how energy powers a human to do work. In this video, you will see how energy can change forms to power a machine, specifically a ceiling fan in a typical building. As per usual, energy begins its journey in the core of the sun, in the form of nuclear potential energy. In the first transformation, energy is changed from nuclear potential to radiant and thermal energy. For more information on this process, watch the Riding a Bike Energy Transfer video on this playlist. So in our first transformation, once again, energy begins its start in the sun. For the second transformation, we have to look to the past. So believe it or not, the energy used to power a fan actually originated millions of years ago during prehistoric times. Ancient plants, often in the form of algae, convert light energy from the sun to chemical energy through a process called photosynthesis. Some animals will eat these plants, and the chemical energy from the plants will transfer into the animals. So in our second transformation, light slash radiant energy transfers to chemical energy in prehistoric plants and animals. So these prehistoric plants and animals will eventually die and begin to decompose. Under certain conditions, the decomposing remains of these plants and animals will be preserved in a single location and buried. After about 300 million years, heat and pressure from layers of rock piling on top of it will change the decaying plants and animals into coal and oil. These are called fossil fuels because they originated from prehistoric plants and animals. So fossil fuels are defined as chemical energy found in long dead organisms. So transformation three occurs when chemical energy in plants and animals transfers to chemical energy in fossil fuels about 300 million years ago. So 300 million years later, humans dig up these fossil fuels. We're gonna take a look specifically at coal. So most of the rest of the transformations that we'll see take place in a coal power plant. Fossil fuels are brought to a coal power plant. The coal is burned in a giant furnace, and this converts the chemical energy in the coal to thermal energy in transformation four. Now we're talking present day. You may wanna stop and pause the video to take a look at this graphic. In the fifth transformation, the thermal energy that came from the burned coal transfers from the furnace into a water supply. This water gets heated up and turns into steam, which starts pushing through a small pipe, and you can see this right here in the diagram highlighted in the red box. All right, so remember that thermal energy is defined as rapidly moving molecules. And these molecules of the steam moving through this pipe are moving very fast. The high velocity steam pushes a spinning turbine. In transformation six, thermal energy in the steam, the moving molecules, transfers to mechanical energy in a spinning turbine. So what this spinning turbine does is it generates electric energy. Power plants are actually built to achieve this goal. And the reason we wanna get electric energy is because electric energy is a very easily transferable form of energy. We can transfer it long distances through power lines. The whole reason we use electric energy is because it's easily transferable. So in transformation seven, mechanical energy in the turbine is transformed into electrical energy in power lines. Finally, in the last transformation, electric energy travels through power lines until it reaches a building. The electric energy transforms into mechanical energy as it powers a motor and a fan. So there you have it. That's how we power our appliances using electricity. So, the energy to power a fan has had a long and complicated journey that actually began 300 million years ago. From this video, you should have learned how fossil fuels, such as coal, gasoline, and oil, can be used to power all kinds of machines. Environmentalists are concerned because we are using fossil fuels much more quickly than they can be generated. So soon, we will need another source of energy to power our machines.